ألا بالعلم تزدهر الروابي ويزهو المجد في ظل الكتاب ويعلو بالتميز كل صرح يعانق بالعلا هام السحاب يعانق بالعلا هام السحاب ومدرسة التميز من رباها يشع النور في كل الرحاب درجت على مقاعدها ربيعا يراعي في يدي ومعي كتابي ومدرسة التميز من رباها يشع النور في كل الرحاب درجت على مقاعدها بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعزائي طلاب الصف العاشر جريد 10 Today you will talk about unit 8 lesson 4 This lesson is a grammar lesson It talks about the modal verbs and question. You will find this lesson in your student's book, page 64. We'll begin with the first grammatical rule, which is the modal verbs. Can, could, must, should. Can and could are followed by the infinitive or the base form or the verb. The infinitive means the verb without additions like go, eat, play and so on. Can is used to express the general ability in the present and future. For example, we can say he can speak English very well. This sentence is in the present. Can you come with us on Saturday? The sentence is in the future. She can't drive a car. The sentence is in the negative form. So when we use the negative form of can, we use can't. Can't is the negative form of can. When we use we use can't. Could is used to express a general ability in the past. For example, I could swim when I was six years old. This sentence is in the past. He couldn't play tennis when he was younger. This is in the negative form. We use couldn't in the negative form. Now we have be able to plus the infinitive. Be able to is used to express also the ability of doing something. It may be similar as can or could, but be able to is used with different tenses. For example, he has been able to swim since he was two years old. It's in the present perfect. So, there is no way to use can or could here. I hope I'll be able to meet you next weekend. This sentence is in the future. She was able to fix the car herself. This sentence is in the past. So, we can use be able to with different tenses. Be able to, ممكن تعطي نفس معنى المعنى كان أو كود لكن بنستخدمها لما مع الأزمنة المختلفة اللي ما نقدرش نستخدم معها كان أو كود. Now let's move to the next slide. Must plus the infinitive. Must and the negative form is mustn't. Must and mustn't are used for obligations. Obligations اللي هي الإلزام لما يكون عندي حاجة فيها إلزام استخدم must أو mustn't must mustn't is used for obligations that the speaker feels strongly about for example I must finish this letter before I go to bed so there is an obligation to finish the letter before I go to bed في إلزام التزام اللي أنا أنهي هذا الخطاب قبل الذهاب إلى النوم. I must finish. So use must to express obligation. 
you must wear a seat belt at all times. Here also, we have an obligation to wear a seat belt at all times. If I don't do that, I will be fined. I will be fined. لو ما عملتش كده ممكن أدفع غرامة على عدم ارتدائي لي حزام الأمان. So we use must or mustn't in the negative form to express obligations to do something. We also use must or mustn't for strong advice or recommendations. Strong advice, نصيحة أو قوية. لما جي أعطي نصيحة قوية بستخدم must أو mustn't. For example, you must see your doctor. You look terrible. أنا هنا بنصح صديقي إنه يذهب للطبيب لأنه يبدو عليه التعب بشكل كبير. So I advise him strongly. Strong advice, نصيحة قوية. You must see your doctor. You look terrible. Should. We use also should plus the infinitive or the best form of the verb to give advice. And maybe out in Asiha, I even start in should. For example, students should listen carefully to their teachers. You shouldn't eat much for fast food. This is the negative, the negative form. You shouldn't eat much fast food. This is the negative form of should. في النفي واستخدم shouldn't. Now let's practice. Complete the sentences with can, can't, and could or couldn't. Look at the examples. Try to think. How to فكر كويس في الإجابة بتاعت الأسئلة. هنملأ الفراغات باستخدام can أو can't, could أو couldn't. The first question, I need my bifocal glasses. I, yes, can't see without them. This example I answered. The next one you will answer. So, then, how to go my computers help us to instigate new learning technology. Think, yes, excellent. We use here. Can computers can help us to instigate new learning technology? The next question: I research at school because there is a new software library. What is the answer? Yes, excellent. Can I can research at school because there is a new software library? D. Ten years ago, you. Easily find a spot to park in the town. Ten years ago, it's clear in this sentence that it's in the past. We go to this in the past. Then I have the word ago. This is the word that we use in the past. Ten years ago. Of course, when we use the word in the past, we can use could or couldn't. So, who can answer? Think. Yes, excellent. Ten years ago, it's clear in this sentence that it's in the past. Ten years ago, it's clear in this sentence that it's in the past. Excellent. Ten years ago, you could easily find a spot to park in the town. I wanted to text you, but I remember your number. Here also, this sentence is in the past because we used wanted, the past symbol of want. Have a jumla even for the model basit. عشان كده ممكن استخدم could or couldn't. So what will you use in this sentence? What will you choose? Yes, excellent. We use couldn't. I wanted to take a stew, but I couldn't remember your number. Now let's move to the next grammatical word, which is which. Sorry, wish. Wish plus the simple past or the past perfect. Wish plus the simple past. Wish يأتي بعدها الماضي البسيط تعبر عن We use wish the past sentence of the verb to express that we want a situation in the present or future to be different 
انه يكون عندي موقف في الحاضر او في المستقبل اتمنى انه يكون مختلف او اتمنى انه يتغير بستخدم وش بعدها الماضي البسيط انه يكون عندي موقف في المضارع في الحاضر او في المستقبل بتمنى انه يكون مختلف او بتمنى انه يتغير to be different for example I wish I spoke Italian in this example I used wish and the past symbol this example means I don't speak Italian أنا لا أتحدث الإيطالي في حاليا في هذا الوقت لذلك أنا أتمنى أن أنا كنت أتحدث الإيطالي I wish I had a big car also in this question we used wish plus the symbol past it means I don't have a big car now we use wish plus the past perfect we use wish plus the past perfect to express a regret we use wish plus the past perfect tense of the verb to express a regret regret in the word to express the regret or that we want a situation in the past to be different عكس القادة اللي قبلها wish لما يجي بعدها ماضي تام اللي هو هاد وتصريف الثالث هنا بيكون بيعبر عن موقف في الماضي كنت أتمنى أنه يكون مختلف أو يتغير موقف في الماضي كنت أتمنى أنه يكون مختلف أو طبعا الأمثلة هتوضح لنا الكلام ده. For example, I wish I hadn't eaten so much. I wish I hadn't eaten so much. يعني معناها كنت أتمنى إني ما كنتش كلت كتير. This means that the situation in the past. الموقف هذا حدث في الماضي. So I ate. A lot. I ate a lot. أنا بالفعل أكلت كثير لذلك ندمت أو بندم إن أنا أكلت كثير. So all I wish I hadn't eaten so much. The next example. I wish they would come on holiday with us. I wish they would come on holiday with us. In this example, me this example. means they didn't come on holiday with us. إن الفعل لم يأتوا معنا لذلك إحنا كنا نتمنى إنهم يكونوا معنا في هذه الرحلة أو الأجازة. Now, what is the difference in meaning in each sentence? What difference in meaning does each sentence have? عندي جملتين مثالين وعاوز أعرف إيه الفرق ما بين هذه الجمل. They wish they had studied harder when they were young. The next sentence: He wishes he were rich. He wishes he were rich. What is the difference in meaning between the two examples? Now, yes, let's answer the question. The difference in meaning does each sentence have is they the first sentence uses the past perfect to express a regret. I wish that a past event had turned out differently. الجملة الأولى استخدمت هنا أو استخدمنا فيها the past perfect الماضي التام they wish they had studied harder had studied had تصريف الثالث ده الـ past perfect الماضي التام استخدمنا هنا لكي نعبر عن الندم الـ regret الندم اللي احنا لم ندرس بشكل جيد I wish that a past event had turned out differently كنا نتمنى اللي احنا ندرس بشكل أفضل طبعا ده الموقف حصل فين في الماضي المثال الثاني he wishes he were rich هو بيتمنى انه يكون أو كان غني The second sentence uses the symbol past to express a wish that something might happen, even though the wished the wished event is very unlikely to happen. يبقى هنا استخدم في الجملة الثانية 
el model was it simple past or where to express a wish that something might happen in عبر عن الأمنية إن شيء يحدث إن الحاضر أو المستقبل يتغير وأكون أقدر لنا أو أكون غني طيب now let's move to the next slide we have here an exercise complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb number one now that he is in China he wishes he between brackets understand Chinese here we will correct the verb understand so here we used wishes so understand can be in the past symbol or in the past perfect Here, understand this verb has a fail we can use it in the model basic or in the model term حسب مشارحنا من قبل بستخدم المدل البسيط لما أكون عندي موقف في الحاضر أو في المستقبل أريد تغييره أو كنت أتمنى أن يكون مختلف أستخدم الماضي التام هذا التصريف الثالث لما يكون الموقف هذا في الماضي وأريد أن أغيره In this sentence who can answer it Yes very good I use in this sentence understood the past symbol of the verb understand because the sentence is in the present now that he is in China now so this sentence is in the present so I want it to be changed uh, the present to uh, or the future next I wish you call earlier I wish you had called earlier yes because this situation is in the past number three they wish they listen to us sooner they wish they listen to us sooner this who can answer yes excellent we use here had listened the past perfect they wish they had listened to us sooner number four when we begin the trip, they will wish they be with us. When we begin the trip, they will wish they be with us. Here, the verb be, we will correct it. Hmm? We can correct the verb. Think, yes, excellent. We use the past symbol of the verb be, which is where. Thank you very much, my students. I wish you uh, understand the lesson and to study well to be ready for your exam. Thank you very much.